there is not one positive story. So you're literally going to watch your child die. What we're dealing with is a neuromuscular disease that it's, it's terminal for children. Our world that we've dreamed of in a 30 second diagnosis just ruined our life. And then you hear that there's this drug. To me, Lurie's is kind of synonymous with hope. It's given her hope and no one's given up on her. We brought family in, thinking they were going to say goodbye. We were sure of it. This was probably the tenth time we buried our child. I can't tell you how many times we've gone through this. Several hours later, being pulled into an office saying, so what if I were to tell you that that drug that you felt was so far out of reach was within 48 to 72 hours? If she's the first one dosed in the expanded access, I mean, it's a step for a larger solve. If you can find the cure, if you can find a way to solve this, you're going to be able to solve a lot of other neuromuscular diseases. It's, it's, it's almost bigger than her at points. To be the first, if we're going to go through this, is so, it's like winning the lotto. I mean, even though we don't know the outcome and it may not even help, just to give me that big piece of hope that I lost two days ago, today, right now, at the very moment, we would probably be putting her to rest. We would be in this room right now, doctors would be starting to unplug. To not be doing that right now, and I thought for certain we were. And to know that we're the first on top of it, I mean, come on, how can you not, how can you not be excited about that? I almost don't want to know what this will do, because now you keep your hope alive. Every day could be something different.